Hi, I'm Daphne Richards, and this is Augie. Our question this week comes from Kathy Barch in Rockney. Kathy writes that over the last several months, she's noticed what looks like a yellowish growth on one of her cedar trees. When she pulled a bit of it off, it had a rubbery, tough consistency. Kathy also notes that the substance is located on spots where limbs have been removed, and so she wondered if it may be the tree's way of healing or if it's quite the opposite. Kathy says that the foliage is still green and there isn't an unusual amount of leaf drop. A nearby cedar doesn't have this problem at all, but she recently noticed an old pecan stump is now encrusted with this same blob. Well, Kathy, unfortunately this is a fungus and it's feeding on the interior of your tree. Most fungi feed on dead tissue, not living. And since the interior of your tree, the wood, is dead by definition, if fungal spores are able to find an entry point and the environment is right, in other words, overly humid, the spores can grow and will begin to digest a tree from the inside out. The entry could be a pruning cut or any other type of physical damage that creates an entry point for the spores. The good news is, if the surrounding trees don't have any open wounds, the fungus is not contagious. The old pecan stub nearby is simply a more exposed and more common food source for the fungus. And fungal feeding on dead logs is part of the natural process of decay that occurs in the woods. For the tree in question, you may either remove it now or take an observational approach, waiting until it begins to decline to remove it. Our plant of the week is pale leaf yucca, yucca pallida, a species that is native only to certain regions of north central Texas. This species looks similar to those in the same genus that are native to desert regions, and it also has a similar low water use habit and requires excellent soil drainage. Unlike many other yucca species, pale leaf yucca stays close to the ground, never developing a visible stem. And it often grows into a colony of multiple offshoots, getting to about three feet wide in total. In spring, a lovely flower stalk will begin to shoot upwards, often bringing the plant from a height of about three feet to almost six. Yucca pallida can be planted in light shade, but plant in full sun for the best floral display. Our viewer picture goes to Heather Kinley for her cute holiday wreath made from ball moss. She used a straw wreath and U-shaped metal pins and it only took about 10 minutes to make. Her idea makes a great wreath all year long and you can even add seasonal berries or dried flowers from the garden. Thanks, Heather. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit us at klru.org ctg to send us questions and photos from your garden.